Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jill, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. I'm going to be building an OU team around Megalopony, then I'll be hopping on the ladder to test out the team and make improvements, and the final iteration of the team will be down below in the description for all of you to try out. So, I found that Megalopony does really well against opposing offensive teams, since it's able to go ahead and check Pokemon like Ash Greninja, Tapu Koko, Mega Medicham quite nicely. However, against more balanced and stall builds, it really does nothing at all. It is able to go ahead and check a couple stall Pokemon due to its ability, Scrap it can go ahead and hit Mega Sableye with High Jump Kick, and then obviously it can go ahead and hit Chansey too, but it really doesn't do anything to Skarmory, Tox Specs, or anything like that, so it's really held back against those bulky builds. So we really want Pokemon that can go ahead and help out against those, so really strong wall breakers definitely come to mind. Here in black is cool, but unfortunately after you burn your Z-move, you really cannot go ahead and break through what you need to right here, so I don't really like the idea. Magnezone could be cool because it can go ahead and trap both Celesteela and Skarmory while giving us Volt Switch momentum. We'll go ahead and keep that in mind right here. Another option would be Hoop on Bound because literally the combination of Hyperspace Fury and Gunk Shot KO everything. So I kind of actually like the Hoop on Bound idea right here. Maybe just in combination with Scarf Magnezone to go ahead and check those Pokemon. I think I would use Magnezone for sure because just Steel types are... Well, Megalopony doesn't really struggle against a lot of Steel types due to its high jump kick. It definitely hates Celesteela and Skarmory and Mega Scissor. It really doesn't break their Mega Scissor at all, so this should be very good right here. Now, I like Choice Scarf because it guarantees that we outspeed offensive variants of Mega Scissor too. So let's go ahead and run a Timid Nature here with a Thunderbolt. Volt Switch, Hidden Power, Fire, obviously, for those Steel-type Pokemon, and then finally Flash Cannon. So, I like this combination right here, because obviously we can pressure other Steel-types with high high Jump Kick, but those three in particular look like a really big problem. So, now we want to add Pokemon that can also take advantage of Magnezone, while also helping out Mega Megalopony right here. So, Hoopa Unbound, as I did say, does come to mind because of the Volt Switch support, and it's able to basically blow back Stall completely with the combination of its attacks. What other Pokemon could kind of do the same thing right here? Bandit Cortana could be cool. It would double up on Steel types though, and it really doesn't break through Zapdos or Moltres at all. I've actually seen Moltres stall a little bit on the ladder right now, so I gotta be careful about that too. Wow, Moltres could actually be annoying. We do have Magnezone though, so that's gonna help out. Hmm. I think I would add Hoop Unbound anyway, because it's just too good against Pokemon like Chansey, against Pokemon like Toxpex, so this Pokemon hates Toxpex, and while Magnezone can go ahead and check it too, this basically ensures that they don't have any switch-ins to come in. Like, they can just go Quagsire on Magnezone if they want, and I definitely want to make sure that that's not an option with the Hoop Unbound right here, so let's go ahead and run a Bandit Set right here with Hyperspace Fury, Gunk Shot, those are the two attacks I knew I wanted to run, and then I think I run... Do I go Fire Punch or Drain Punch? Now, I find that Megalopony doesn't really care about Terranitar, obviously, so... I'm gonna go with Fire Punch for the Scissor, and then finally Zen Head, but... I like this coverage option right here, so... I definitely like the Volt Switch momentum. We don't have Hazard Control or Hazard yet, so... We need to get that on the board soon. We also don't have a Z-Move user, it looks like. And I would love to increase my special offense right here. So far, we only have Magnezone, whereas we have two great physical mons right here. Hmm... What could I do about that? Victini is cool. It could go ahead and provide me with a really nice breaker. Although I already have a Banded Mon and a Scarf Mon, so I don't actually see myself adding another Choice Locked Mon onto this team. What special Z-Move users could be really cool? Maybe like Magirna? Shift Gear Magirna for another offensive breaker could be really nice. What set would I run? So, I mean, would I need Ice Beam for Landers on that set? Yeah, Ice Beam could actually be really useful. Defensive Landers T looks like a pain for these three to break through. Hmm. Interesting idea there. Let's keep that in mind. Let's also consider other options for late game cleaners. Scarf Superior could be a thing. I use that so often, though. I'm not going to do that. I like Shift Gear Magirna or Scarf Lele. Now, Lele would double up on Psychic types. However, it would give me Bandits and Headbutts under terrain, which I kind of like the sound of that. But I think the double Psychic is just not a smart idea at all. So let's think about other things. Scarf Bulu could be cool. I don't have any ground type attacks on the team, so... That could go ahead and catch people off guard. Triple choice is not really something I'm too interested in, though. So I think right here... Yeah, let's just look for a Z-Movie. So Garchomp could provide me rocks and a Z-Mon. Kind of like the sound of that a lot. Dragonium or Rocky MZ could be good. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the, uh, the Garchomp option here. I think that sounds great. There's nothing else that's really catching my eye so far. I already have an Electric type, so Coco is kind of out of the picture here. Let's go ahead and run the Garchomp right now. 
I think Garchomp plus Megalopony is great in terms of the speed tiers. This can go ahead and check stuff like Coco. And Scarf Coco can actually check this with Dazzle. But Coco is actually a threat here. I gotta be careful. Hmm. Let's run the uh, Stealth Rocks. Swords Dance to attack set with Outrage and Earthquake. Just because I don't want really Zapdos. Actually, I guess I'll go with Arachium because I don't want Zapdos being an issue. And this thing getting static paralyzed would be a really big pain. So let's run Stone Edge right here with Arachium Z. May change it to Dragonium but just based on preference right here. But I'll give Arachium Z a shot again here. And let's go ahead and run uh, a Jolly Nature. That is a Sassy Nature. Put the four EVs into defense right here and correct my ability, of course. I don't want to forget to do that. These abilities are fine, right? Yeah, okay, so that's cool. Is this not its hidden ability? Oh, it's hidden ability is analytic. I thought the hidden was magnet pole all this time. My bad. Okay, let's see what else we can add right here. Mm, what's the team particularly weak to? Coco, as I said, is a giant threat. Specs Coco with a Dazzle and T-Bolt. Looks like a giant problem right here. And, I mean, now that I have a Garchomp on the team, I really can't add Bulu if I want to have my Earthquake be as strong as possible, meaning Tang could be an Ash Greninja check. I need a water resist, that's going to be important. I could go Vest Mingirna because I obviously do not have a... Well, I have an offensive steel type, which doesn't really take psychics from Lele. So I think another steel type here could be very beneficial. It's either that or I go Jirachi. Now, I could take Garchomp off the team and make Jirachi the rocker and go with something else. I don't know how much I like the sound of that, though. What other the Z-move user would I run at that point? Mm, there's nothing... There's not a ton of options here. This is with the build, I think I've covered a lot already, so I'm trying to figure out what can actually help me out here. Hmm, so Defog Torn is obviously a thing. Wow, Kratana is actually a threat, but I do have Scarf Magnezone. It could be Scarf Kratana, though, and that would be an issue. Is Helmet Torn something I want to do? It's kind of passive. It wouldn't help me out a ton. I mean, I guess I could run Taunt on it to help out against Stall even more. I haven't run Taunt Torn in a while. Let's run Taunt Torn right here with Hurricane... Knock off and defog. So I'm just not going to run a U-turn, even though I almost always run a U-turn right here. I like Taunt just to be able to go ahead and defog, prevent rocks. Check Tox Specs even more, even though these three kind of blow it away, which is very cool right here. Max HP, max speed. And yeah, this will be our Cartana check for the team. Still really weak to Coco. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about that. So let's go ahead and run... Hmm. I think this is it, right? I don't really need to change anything right here. Defog, Taunt... I guess I'll go ahead and put the four. Actually, I'll put it in defense just for Cortana. And then we have one slot left. So the thing is, Bulu looks amazing just for Coco and the Ash Greninja. Because obviously we still don't have a water resist. However, I think AV Magirna right here can maybe do the same kind of thing. Provide me with more momentum while providing me with that bulky steel type like I said I wanted. Yeah, because it's also able to go ahead and sponge Lele and... Coco pretty nicely while also being an Ash Grinch check right here, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's run Assault Vest Magirna with Focus Blast, Volt Switch, Fleur Cannon, and I guess Iron Head would be my last move to check Opposing Magirna, because Opposing Magirna is actually a threat here too. So in terms of threats to my team, Halucha in particular looks like a problem right here if it SDs up. I could maybe keep my... I don't know, this isn't sturdy, so it's going to be tough. If, I'm pretty sure Torn can live one if they don't have Roxa, but... Who goes for a Halucha sweep without Roxa? That's the thing. I believe they run 36 in speed. And then 224 speed F. And then they run minus speed nature right here. I'm pretty sure that's like for Toxavex. No, Toxavex is too slow. I think it's for Celesteel or something like that. I forgot off the top of my mind. But that looks good to me right here. 157 speed. I'm actually going to check right here. Is that for Celesteela? Celesteela hits 158. No, it's not for Celesteela. I don't know then. But I think the team looks good right here. Let's go ahead and make sure that we've used all our EVs. Abilities are correct right here. Looks good to me. So I'll go ahead and be right back with our first game. Okay, got a game right here. And my opponent is really weak to Megalopunny. I think if I can make the correct maneuvers, predicting all of Mola and whatnot, I could actually be in a really good spot here. I gotta be careful about this Como, though. That thing could straight up sweep me on its own. That thing's a giant problem. Huh. I think if I keep Magirna at full health, maybe I can deal with it. But Magirna is my Serp check and my Greninja check, so... I don't know, this one looks really difficult just f at a start here. It's in the game. Let's go ahead and lead off here with Garchomp. Yeah, onto Como, okay. This is a good start. I think I just go for the Devastating Drake right away and knock it out. So they give me the biggest threat turn one. They should have gone Alo, but that's okay. This frees up Magirna. Yep, on the Ice Beam. They could be Z Dig, and this is my Serp check, so I'll pivot to Torn here as they do reveal the Z Dig red there. So really good. I'll go Magirna now. 
and just volt switch out. Okay, they're actually spike. Should have anticipated that. I don't know what I'm thinking. They're actually going for a regular dig. I don't really understand that one. This is really frustrating, huh? I can't let them regular dig me. <laughs> what am I going to do about this? Like, this is just a cycle that I have to try to get out of. I can take the hit with this and try to go for game with something else. Like, that's not a bad plan. Would I live a dig? Magirna against Ninja. Physically based Perdian. A dig. Oh, regular? Yeah, I would live a regular dig. So I guess in theory, I could just stay in here. And just flare cannon it. Yeah, I had to do something about this. Like, I couldn't just switch between these two forever. That would not be doing anything for me. They're actually continuing to do this. Do I just give it to them now? This thing's a problem. Especially because if they actually... If I actually give them my low bunny, I could lose this. Does Torn take an Ice Beam? I don't need Torn here. No, actually, I do need Torn now, because because I let this get weakened, it's my Serp check. Yeah, that's a thing for sure. That's my Serp check now. Yeah, I'll give them this, as much as I hate to. Doesn't Dig have accuracy, too? I don't know, I don't think the Calc tells you, but... This gives me my low Bunny, and this is kind of where I have to start playing offensively if I really want to get ahead. Low Bunny is their switch, in, and they should go low Bunny. But I'm going to return. I mean, sorry, Alamomola, what, what, low Bunny? Low? This gives me Torn on a Wish. I mean, I just knock here to prevent the Gren from recovering. They're going to Toxic or whatever, but that's not the end of the world. I got rid of this thing's lefties, which makes its longevity a lot worse. They would Wish again here, huh? I'm going to Taunt. Yeah, Taunt Torn is going to come out. could be really handy right now. So this is where they go for Scald, meaning... I either go Garchomp and try to get up rocks and really hope I don't get burnt. I think that's really dumb. The other option's going Hoopa and also trying to not get burnt. Or I just Hurricane. They actually gave me the Sash, which I really like. And Garchomp takes anything, so I'll go Garchomp here. On Iron Head, yeah. Oh, that could be Scarf. That is Scarf too. I'm gonna go Magnezone. If that's not Scarf though, that's so bad for me. I'm gonna go back to Torn. Okay, yeah, so I'm glad I didn't go out into Magnezone. Okay, they continue taking chip there. I did say I need this alive, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it alive here. And I think go Swear Hurricane. And actually I I didn't need that thing. I actually did not need that at all. If this thing goes down, I actually I was really surprised they were giving me this just because Magnezone poses such a giant threat to their team here. We'll go Garchomp and just Earthquake this time. This gives me rocks, so I'm not as worried as I might be otherwise. And then I literally just start to SD up here on the Toxic. And then Outrage it on the Wish. Uh, they just protect here. And do I die to Poison this turn? I do. That's really bad. Hoopa can come in. Click Hyperspace Fury. They switch out here just because this is their low bunny check after all. They either sack Gren or Serp. Or their own Hoopa. They could just sack their own Hoopa if they really want to. If they give me this thing, I think I win with my... And they are giving me it. And they miss a Toxic, too. I'm really confused about the Toxic play. I think he should have at least gone for the Scald, but... Hey, I'll take that. Are they Scarf Hoopa? Is that their plan here? If they're Scarf Hoopa, I've lost. Okay, they give me the Hoopa. Nice. And that Alamomola didn't completely recover itself, meaning... Right here, this would go for a U-turn, I think. I'm gonna go Magnezone on the Gunk Shot. Then go Low Bunny as they dig, and I'll live this dig, and essentially this allows me to knock this out without an issue. Yeah, that's my play, right? I missed the return, which, I mean, how often do you see a return miss? In case Alamomola comes in, I actually have my play as high jump kick here. 
In case they choke and decide to do that. Yeah, because Alamomola would come in now. I gotta go Hoopa on it, and basically it's gonna it can't really protect because of my hyperspace. So I hyperspace fury this. And there's so many factors coming to this endgame. This guy cannot hit a toxic. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just really surprised about their drill play. That one really confused me. Okay, they finally hit a Toxic. <laughs> Took them long enough. They give me the Ala, which means I think I win with Lopunny, no matter what. This thing comes in. This probably lives one from... No, I think Magnazone beats Serp in the end is my play, so I sack this off here. I'm actually faster than it for who knows what reason. If this is Choice Scarf, my play is Magnazone first. Just to put it in range of Fake Out. So Flash Cannon is stronger, right? No, they're the same, but... I guess this has Spit After Up chance. I don't know if that's Fake Out range, and they are Choice Scarf. Oh, but... <laughs> I just hacked that guy out. That was definitely a Choice Scarf Serp, and I definitely lost. I, uh, would Fake Out have done 38? Let's assume they're no bulk, because that's what Choice Scarf Serp runs. Yeah, they don't run bulk. I don't know if I did 38 right there. I mean, I missed three leaf storms in the row the other day, so I'll take the hacks, but... Really, I didn't kill that thing, so I definitely just robbed that guy right there. Super unfortunate, but hey, we take those, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, so that first game right there is just a great example for why you should run Cortana instead of Superior. That's all I'm going to say about that right there. This next game is... I mean, they don't have an electric immunity, so I get to Volt Switch around for free. I think Heatran would be their lead if I... They're really weak to Lopunny. I think I'm going to go for the Lopunny win here. And I just gotta weaken Bulu and Rotom and get up my rocks for Torn. I should be good to go with that. Uh, I'd... <laughs> Protean Grin is such a problem. I'm gonna lead off here with Magirna. Into Torn, okay. So damage on this is great, and as I said, as much as I hate taking a knockoff turn one, I can't take a knockoff turn one. Yep. Could not risk that. This could be Z fight, but I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna stay in and Volt Switch here. If there's Z fight, then I'll go... Yeah, they're U-turn, okay. So Heatran or Bulu are their plays here. Heatran is the play. That's an offensive Heatran, too. So here I get up my rocks. Which, they, they go Bulu, okay. So interesting Bulu play. I guess they're not expecting Z Stone Edge. I think I can go Tornadus here. On hard Heatran. Interesting Heatran. So this could be the Z set because they haven't revealed lefties and it that did a lot of damage. Yeah, this is Z, I think. We'll go back to Garchomp here. I was gonna taunt it. <laughs> Man, on for it. Okay. So I live as Steely MZ and I do wanna SD up if possible, I think. I'm just gonna Earthquake. Yeah, because I mean they could go back to Bulu. Yeah, they're, they're gonna go back to Bulu here. And SD would literally give me nothing, so... I think this turn I can go Magnezone in case they go for a, a Stone Edge or whatever. Well, actually, if this thing is checked by Torn, what else would Torn help with? Not a lot. Let's go Torn. They actually make a double into Rotom. So I'm just going to knock off the berry here. I don't really need my Torn, whereas they kind of need this thing for my low Lopunny. Yeah, they gave me the item right there, which is really big, because that's good for Mega Lopunny's high jump kick. That's my win con here, so... In fact, I'm going to try to get more damage on this. I do get more damage, nice. And now I essentially claim one with this Hoopa. How healthy is Bulu? Now I gotta predict with this- I gotta predict this turn. Zen Headbutt kills Rotom, right? Hoopa Unbound, Choice Band against Rotom Wash. Okay, so Zen Headbutt would nearly always kill. I can't let that thing come in, and it should 2-hit KO this too, so I'm gonna go for Zen Headbutt here. They give me Rotom, so that's huge for Megalopony. Megalopony looks very nice here. This is a free U-turn for them. I'll just go Magnezone. Yeah. Because, I mean, I can still get kills with Hoopa if I predict correctly later. Heatran comes in. Wait, Heatran comes in. Why? Oh, it is Scarf Heatran. Wait a minute, no, I just got that wrong. For I, I mean, my Thunderbolt would have killed it, but... Did they never reveal an item? Yeah, they never revealed an item. I, I messed up red there. Actually, wait a minute. No, I didn't. 
just comes in here and cleans. I gotta get this play red though. Are they going out into Bulu or not? I don't think they do. I'm gonna go for hyperspace. Yeah. Wait, hello? Did my- oh, they knocked off my scarf. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's where I messed up. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot they knocked off my scarf. Was that turn one? That was turn one, right? Yeah, that's why I forgot about it. I was playing as if I was Scarf Magnezone the entire time. But I am not Scarf Magnezone. Meaning I should have gone hard guard jump and I messed up. That could cost me this game too. Not really though, because what do they bring in here? Mawal? Bulu is interesting because I need- this is the Pokemon I need damage on, so... I'll just Iron Head this down and then... Click it again here. If they give me this, I kind of claim with my guard champ too. I gotta be careful. Can I beat- I can still beat Greninja with Lopunny, so this is okay. And my play here is 100% spam Iron Head. Wow, plus two Bulu is so strong. So they just knocked me out here. Okay. And then this turn, I go either Lopunny or Hoopa. Let's go Hoopa here and click. I think Fire Punch. Okay, so they give me that thing. Nice. I think I'm in range of Sucker Punch. Man, I can't believe I messed up that Magnezone play. That's like, that was really bad. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I think I gotta go Garchomp. On the U-turn, yeah, and see what the response is. I'm still out of range of Sucker Punch, so that's why I thought this was a cool maneuver. Because this means when they come in, actually, won't they still be at 76? Yeah, they will. Mawile is their uh, bring in here. And this is the damage I need for High Jump Kick, so I'm gonna Earthquake it. Ah, they got me. Of course, I actually win the game right there with Megalopony's high jump kick, I think, if I hit that attack, but now I lose. Unless they miss this one. Just come on, miss. They hit two in a row, but I can't break through. Even after my blunder, I can't win that game. I hacked the last guy, so like, whatever. It is what it is. Well, trade even here. Hacks the first game, did not get too lucky this time. They should go hard Mawile, but I'll go off this choke of them staying in. Because like my return's not gonna knock this out. Yeah, and Hoopa's too low to take a sucker punch. I guess maybe if I crit that, I could win. But yeah, this this turn right here, I got that right too. They should have U-turned back to Mawile, but they decided to stand in Hurricane, and then they did it again too. That was the worst part. Why would you risk it again when Mawile takes that? Like even Mawile would have taken the Earthquake. Actually, not maybe not before Mega evolving. They probably didn't die. Yeah, they did. They did go Mawile. This is the correct play. I gotta crit this right now. Because switching out is not going to help me at all. Unless I want to cancel the Intimidate. Which actually, canceling? Yeah, that's my play. I gotta hope they Mega Evolve. I come back in here. And I try to knock this out with High Jump Kick. And then knock out the other two with my other attacks. If they're staying in right through their play is to not Mega Evolve. And go for a player off. It should knock this out. But they did Mega Evolve. Okay, that's what I needed. That's step one. Now here, I always click Fake Out first. To guarantee that this dies. And then what I gotta do is hope I take Fake Out plus Water Shuriken. Yeah, if I had Magnezone alive here, I think that would have been amazing. Okay, so I had Jump Kick now. Okay, cool, that thing's gone. I think, do I win? It's gonna depend on how much of this Torrent takes. Let's Calcut right now. Low Pony. <laughs> Against Tornadus. Okay, there's actually a roll where I can kill the Torn. Yeah, there's a, this is a roll, I think. Unless they're the helmet set, which I don't think they are. Come on, Low Pony, come through. They have to hit a Hurricane, too, and they've already hit two of them. I knocked it out. No, but they, they went for knockoff. Okay. And yeah, that's game due to Shuriken, I think. 
if I knock that out, Shuriken knocks me out. So, I mean, I really messed up with the Magnezone. I completely forgot about the knock. Yeah, sure, I can hear that's gonna be a GG. So I'll drop a GG in the chat. Super just sloppy game by me right there, but it's okay, we'll try to bounce back now, I'll be right back. Okay, so so far, I hacked my first opponent and then my second opponent hacked me. This matchup looks impossible. Literally, I have no water resist on this team. I'd recognize the threat of Greninja, but then like, Mega Swampert was not really something I considered at all. Maybe I should change the Magnezone or like Magirna to a Ferrothorn here. That might be a better addition, just Ferrothorn instead of Magirna. I think I might end up doing that. I don't know, let's see how this game goes first. Maybe, um, maybe I'm wrong. I'll go right here for, um, Devastating Drake, I think. Yeah, because it'll knock out Torn, but now literally I just lose a Monta Swampert. Yeah, unless I live an Ice Punch, which I don't, so. Yeah, that's a thing. I'm gonna lose this match to Swampert alone, that's crazy. What can I do here? Is there anything I can do here is a better question. <laughs> I don't think there is. I think I just lose to... I mean, it depends. Can Swampert knock me out with Ice Punch? Garchomp. So they expected a Rock's turn one. Swampert. Yep, that kills. So if Swampert comes in, then I am uh, very dead. And they know I'm offensive now, too. I don't know why they're taking so long to go out into it. Do they not want to take rough skin damage? They go Greninja. So this is what Tyrium Z... That's actually Specs, I think. Uh, yeah, that should be Specs under Rain. That looks right for Specs damage. I'm gonna maybe hope they mess up and go hard Swampert for no reason. They go Ferrothorn. Yeah, that's their play. They're gonna go Swampert now. But I'm gonna attempt to Volt out here. Yeah, I messed that up. Hmm. Okay, so I get Helmet Chip, and then I go Garchomp, I think. This team needs a Ferrothorn. I'm going to replace Magirna with Ferrothorn after this game. I think I live one though, so maybe I can get off Hurricane Damage here. I think Hurricane Damage is much more important than... Come on, live one Torn. Nice. Don't flinch. Don't flinch and I'll get basically get this thing as a... Uh, nope. And that's... Uh, I think that whole game... I think actually the combination of two Rocky Helmet hits and that Hurricane plus Rough Skin might have actually given me an opening to one here, but... Yeah, now I just kind of lose to this thing. I mean, like, I'll fake out. They're just going to stay in, I think. I don't think you switch in here with anything. I guess Manaphy. This is probably Waterium Z. I jump it kills it, though, I think. Uh, it, it is an offensive Manaphy. I know that. Man, that flinch. That's, that's going to cost me the game. I don't kill it. And they're going to go for Waterium Z here. Okay, they decide to withdraw into Pelipper. Do I lose to Mega Swampert right now? Yeah, I can't beat Mega Swampert anymore. That's the whole game. Okay, they messed up with the Pelipper, so that's cool. <laughs> that flinch, man. Okay, I can beat Mega Swampert with Roughskin Plus. They're gonna Earthquake here too, and I can't take an Earthquake with anything. <laughs> yeah. So now I go back to this. This thing was, should be dead right now to this fake out with my hurricane damage, but it's not going to be dead because of the circumstances here. They're going to switch out eventually. I just got to get the turn right. Yeah, that's the turn they switch out, and uh, I just lose because of that flinch. That's all there is to it. I'll have jump kick here, but... Yeah, I guess maybe a crit in return would have been enough. And do knock that out, which is cool, I guess. I guess Manaphy just comes in here and messes me up. Okay, they go Pelipper. Let's knock that out. I just lose to Greninja too, don't I? <sighs> yeah, this was a winnable game without that flinch. Literally, the Swampert would have gotten, like, two less kills, and I could have actually won with the combination of Garchomp and this late game. But, I don't know, maybe if they get two Shuriken hits and I crit that. Yeah, they just switch out, and uh, there's nothing I can do here. I guess maybe if I, if I dodge here, I can win. 
Um, they're, they're just surf, yeah, that's the whole game. Uh, that was super lame, the flinch. I mean, I did hax my first opponent, but now I've gotten hacks twice in a row. I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got the next game right here. I got a Ferrothorn now, which is, should help me out against Rain if I run into that again. I'm gonna try to round this up with two more wins right here. That would be very ideal. I would love to go positive. This guy is gonna lose to Megalopony if I can get rid of Lander's T. Rocks are really good against him. He has double ice types, by the way. That's really odd. So I'll get up rocks here. Their only hazard control is Cartana. So in this scenario, I don't think I need Magnezone. No, actually, Magnezone is a really spammable late game. I think I just go Ferrothorn here. Beat up, and they crit beat up. Okay, only the first one gets the crit damage, I think. But I think maybe that would, could be the difference between actually me living and dying. I'll go for Jarabal. Okay, does that always hit, like, I don't know how that works. I think it hit, it six, hit six times. I've never seen a move hit six times before. I mean, so, like, they could be fighting EMZ. I'll just go Megalopony here. Quick fake out first, in case this is Phytanium. Hard Magirna is an interesting play. They're gonna Flur Cannon here. So I'll get in Magnezone. Uh, they're, ma they're making it. They're playing well early game right here. I should have had a high jump kick right there. I could have actually just like get rid gotten rid of this thing, but now I got to play more offensively. I also got to be really careful about Scarf Cartana. Yeah, I'm definitely playing like half tilted right now. This should take one. Yeah, uh, not well, but it took one. And uh, let's just knock that out, which is cool. I think uh, Weavile would come back in here. If I really had to guess. If it's Phytanium Z Weavile, that's going to be really tough for me. Yeah, Weavile is going to be a threat. I think maybe my Bandit Hoopa can knock out Magirna with Fire Punch. They don't switch into Fire Punch either. Okay, so I'm going for the Megalopony win. It basically knocks out everything except for Cartana, if that's Choice Scarf. I do need damage on... Oh, actually, Cartana comes in here. A little bit confused about that one, unless they're Steely MZ. Oh, or they can just crit me with knockoff and get rid of my one Cartana check for late game. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's, that's totally cool. Let's go here into Garchomp and get more damage on it. And then I'm just going to go Megalopony here. And uh, just click Ice Punch. Actually, I feel like they're going Magear now. I'm just going to hide Jump Kick. No, no, I'm going to Ice Punch. Yeah, I got that right. Okay. <sighs> that crit's terrible. Because now I don't get the regen turn. I need, to, I need to get my turn in again. Yeah, this comes in. I'm going to hide Jump Kick it. Yeah, they Volt Switch again, so I get that one right. I, I needed to make a play to get back into this. Cartana comes back in here. Let's go Torn on the Sacred Sword, and then... Click... Click Knock Off here. In case, they decide to, in case they decide to stay in for no reason is really the main thing. They go hard cure in black, okay. So against this, I think uh, maybe Magnezone can win on its own, but I need to keep Torn for Sacred Sword, so I'll go Hoopa to get in my Magnezone now. Then click Flash Cannon. Yeah, Flash Cannon can win on its own. I think they just stay in an Earth Power here. That's their play. Yeah. And then... They go Cartana here, and I need to get the 50-50 right, because my Torn is too low, because of the previous turn. I think I'll just go Torn no matter what. I think that's my play. Megalopony is out of range of Smart Strike. I mean, Ice Shard. Okay, that's good too. Uh, interestingly, Weavile comes in, so this does not speed me. I just gotta stand and go for Flash Cannon. They have beat up. And uh, they hit four times. I don't know how that move works. I really don't know. Cartana comes in. I save this for Torn. To come in. 
And actually, if they smart strike, I lose, right? I'm just gonna flash cannon. Hmm, so... Yeah, they smart strike there, I'll live that and knock this out. So had I gone torn, I lost, and yeah, that's gonna be that game right there. So I did what I had to, we're able to go ahead and win. Wow, I've lost a lot of points this live. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get one more after this. Let's go ahead and try to win that one too. I'll be right back. Alright, I got the next game right here. My opponent is very weak to Bandit Hoopa. If we win this one, I'll go positive, which will definitely be very cool. And I think right here, I'm just gonna lead off with my... I think they're leading Landorus. I mean, Keldeo could be a lead too. Keldeo's a giant threat. Hmm, I'll just lead Garchomp on Lottie. I mean, it's gonna have Ice Beam, so I'm just gonna go Ferrothorn. Yeah, Ferrothorn's fine. Yeah, there's an Ice Beam. Hoopa covers both them staying in and going Heatran. Yeah, they decide to go for Hidden Power. This gives me a Hyper Space, and that'll be really good, so... They decide to go Tapu Koko. I mean, I could've gunked it, but that's still gonna blow it away. It is lefties. It's probably roosting up here, but I do want my rocks up, so I'll just go Ferrothorn. Sorry, I spike up. That's what I meant. Taunt is interesting because I could have gyroballed there, but I mean that's okay. I didn't do it, so this gives them uh, the Heatran. Uh, I don't want that happening, so I'll go Magnezone here in the U-turn just to get something against Heatran happening. If they go Lander, it's all defog for the rocks to be gone. Yeah, they got into this here. I can just vault out. I don't think they had- they shouldn't go Landorus here. If they're switching out, they should go Amoongus or Lottie. So they give me some nice damage on that. I'll get in Garchomp here. Just to trade these with them. They've shown lefties, so I don't have any Z-move to fear here. Their switching is either Landorus or Lottie, interestingly. Okay. I can't stay in here. I'm gonna go Ferrothorn. As much as I know they're about to make some bad play and go for an attack that's not Ice Beam, I think I go Ferrothorn. Okay, they went for Ice Beam. Cool. So I get that right. They definitely know what they're doing, so I gotta try to put on the pressure here. I think Jara Ball is okay now. Just to force the, the Hoorooster right there, and then basically what this gives me is my Hoopa. Because they roost here. Actually, I can just leech eat here. This is my sleep switch then, so I don't want it to get too weakened. Would they hit in power again right away? I'm gonna go Hoopa here. I'm gonna keep this alive in case they hit in power. I'm just really surprised you go hard Lottie on Garchomp. Like, that was really offensive, but... It might work out for them here. I gotta somehow get my, get in my Megalope. I need to start doing things. I gotta deal with damage Amoongus, which... Amoongus is going to be a threat. Yeah, so I get in on the roots. This is where I kind of have to get the play right. To actually have something happening here. Because they they went Coco last time. And they should know the set runs Gunk Shot. I'm going to go Gunk Shot. Yeah, they go Landorus this time. I got a Poison on it, but I, I get the play wrong. Which kind of sucks. I think this is Scarf Lando, just from the looks of that. I need Torn, so I'm just going to go Ferrothorn here. Yeah, because they tried to Stone Edge into my Torn, and I, I couldn't risk that, so... This gives me a Leech, I think. Into Heatran, so I'm getting some nice recovery here. I think uh, this time, they could Toxic here. Hmm. I don't want to get swept by Scarf Lando, so I need to get in my Garchomp here. On Hard Lottie, okay, so they get that right. Uh, what am I doing this time? This Lottie double keeps on getting me, and it's really... Putting on the pressure. I'm gonna go Ferrothorn again. They keep on Ice Beaming, okay. Okay, so that's their play. They're clearly going for that. I think here, my Hyperspace Free is looking a lot more spammable the more this game goes on, but Hoopa, which is one of my better breakers, has not been doing the breaking work at all. I'll gunk here again, because I don't want them going Coco. They shouldn't go Coco, but yeah, they decide to, so I get rid of Coco right there. 
I was actually about to hyperspace into Heatran, but yeah, they should have sacked Heatran there. Coco is an unnecessary risk. So Keld comes in here. This is a really big threat to my team, as I said at the beginning. Especially because at the current situation, I don't know what set it is. I do keep Poopa alive because it still claims one every time with hyperspace now. Magnezone is still good too. I, I do want Ferrothorn alive, I think. No, actually, I can go Ferrothorn here. Goes for close combat. <laughs> okay, don't know what to think about that. But I, I guess if it's close combat, it probably doesn't have a way to knock out Garchomp, so... I'll go, I'll go Chomper here and click my, my Z. Yeah, they go hard Lottie, and that's going to go down too, so... Uh, Landorus out. Wait, you good there, Landorus? Okay, let's go for... I can, I can outrage here and knock it out. It's probably not my play. I think, uh, just sack Magnezone, maybe? They go for U-turn. That's fine. Into, um, Amoongus. So they're finally going to get to put something to sleep. I mean, I'm gonna... Do I just let this get put to sleep? I was going to sack it off anyway, right? It's definitely not Garchomp. Garchomp wins, so... So is Lopunny. Lopunny also wins this. Elder and Power Fire here. As uh, there's stun sporing, interestingly. Look, the thing is, I don't even care if the... They have to go off my choke here, and I'm just going to keep on staying in and doing this. They're, they they recognize that they have to go off my choke here. They finally switch out. And uh, once again, I just sack this off. Is this SD Aqua Jet or something? I guess it has Aqua Jet, but I guess um, it's going to be put in range of Fake Out soon, so I don't think I have anything to fear here. The next one puts it down at 26, and then... I mean, if Me if Megalopony doesn't knock it out, I can knock it out with something else. Me I mean, Garchomp wins this game after I just knock out the, the Keldeo. That's the end game I'm going for here. Yeah, they played these two Pokemon, like, really interestingly. I think they should have sacked Heatran earlier. Okay, there's that knockout. Actually, there because of that defense drop, I actually knocked them out here with Fake Out. They gotta hope I choke and let them Aqua Jet me, but I would never let them Aqua Jet in this scenario. They do switch out, though, which is cool. I mean, I'm gonna go Hoopa because... Even if they Magma Storm, I can't, they can't sweep me with Landorus with the combination of Pokemon I have here. Yeah, so I just go Garchomp here. Click. Click Earthquake. As Landorus comes in, dies to the combination of my things. This thing is not a threat. I think I sack off my... My Torn to the sleep. Or I guess Stun Spore. I forgot that was what the set was, so... I'll just Hurricane here into Heatran. I somehow hit through and get Confusion, so that's pretty cool. I'll actually knock off now. Yeah, knock that out. I guess uh, Keldeo would come in next, right? Yeah, Keldeo comes in. Goes for uh, Super Sonic Sky Strike. And then uh, I just return here. Knock that out. And then I think there's no way Amoongus beats Garchomp, so... I'll just return here. As they Stun Spore. I do get Paralyzed. And uh, ideally, I can just break through here and end the game. So that's going to be that one. We do end up going positive, which is cool. We won those last two games, so I'll definitely take it. I'll go ahead and get back at least up to the 1700s before my next recording. But yeah, the team will be down below in the description. Uh, this guy's actually a fan of me. That's pretty cool. Did I not ignore DMs? I usually do that when recording. But yeah, I did hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Later.